I think what we should do now is take out these dumb evil snowmen. So, they're completely invincible, except you can see their hats have that little red X on them. You gotta use the new move, the Beak Bomb on it. Beak Bomb can be kind of annoying to use, because you gotta line up just right. Anyhow. Go aim. Booyah. That is the only way to take them out, is to Beak Bomb them. Take <laughs> that. And the beak bomb goes a long way. Like, physically, it goes a long distance. Now, ouch! And that's one of the annoying things, is that the, the beak bomb, if you don't aim it correctly, you can smash into the wall, take damage, and it can easily knock you out if you're flying. So, now, now we have to find a new flight path. The one nice thing, though, is that they do not respawn. Once you take out an evil snowman, they don't respawn until, I think, either you enter a new room or if you, like, flat out leave the level. So I entered the Christmas... Come on. Just... Come on. Ouch. What a butt. Oh, wait, I've got a better insult. Wow, that was cold. <laughs> What is up with this? There we go! Jeez! Oh, there was a mumbo token that I got, apparently. I didn't even see it. <sighs> I'm just telling the same <laughs> dumb jokes over and over again. <laughs> hey, guess what? We're not very ice! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, while you're doing the beat bomb attack, you can move the control stick to kind of move. So, for example, I'm going to do this and hold up, and it kind of sent me down a little bit. And if you kill all the evil snowmen, a Jiggy appears on the very top of the giant snowman. But also, you want to check out all the places where the evil snowmen were, because they've got special goodies. So, for example, I will honeycomb piece under that one. That one just had a normal honeycomb piece. Oh well. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time on Freeze Easy Peak. Yes, oh yes, it's a mumbo token. By the way, Mumbo's on this level. You may have seen it. Oh hey! Can't miss that one. Oh wow, we actually don't have a lot of feathers, do we? Oh, before we do that, the first one we destroyed had the witch switch under it. Oh, oh, get out of that. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold! Frost Ow! Ah! Hey, look! A new advent to opening with a Jiggy inside. Oh, man. I would love an advent calendar where, like, you open it to what's inside. It's a Jiggy! <laughs> Actually, wait, what if there was an advent calendar where, like, every single day for advent, you open it, and it has, like, a jigsaw piece, and then after you open them all, you can put together a puzzle. That would actually be kind of awesome! Ow! I didn't mean to push Z there. Banjo's like, you did that on purpose. So, Banjo, I'm going to McDonald's. What size fry do you want? Jumbo? Jumbo? All right. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Banjo, you don't need that. Yeah, beat bomb all of these buttons that look conveniently like targets, and... Special surprise! Just what Banjo wanted for Christmas. Let's see if we can pick it up while flying. Nope. If you pick it up while flying, you can skip that animation of him picking it up and Kazooie eating it. But why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> the answer is, if you're a speedrunner. Alright, let's start climbing the snowman, shall we? We got this giant wall and scarf, we've got notes on the yellow pieces, and red feathers on the red pieces. Nice touch. 
I love this level so much. It's so creative, so colorful, it's got the great Christmas music. It's just fun. And to be honest, this is one of the, one of the last, like, pure fun worlds in the game. Not to say that the future worlds aren't fun, but most of the future worlds after this, it's like, well, it is fun, but it's also really frustrating at times. Got all the notes around here. There is a sled here. We're gonna ride that after we're done exploring up here because that'll take us to the bottom of the mountain. Somebody has a pipe. There's a genie inside. One of the few genies that's just lying out on this level. Go. It's a present. Take me to the kids! I'm the last one! Let's go to the top of his hat! So we got notes up here, and we gotta collect our jiggy. while he's doing his jiggy animation. No! Don't do that. <laughs> Actually, the ice cubes weren't, like, violent. They're just like, we wanted to say hi, Banjo. Why'd you kill us? <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a 3D platforming game. <laughs> I'm used to everything being out to kill me. Anyhow. There's a slide down here. Oh. Oh, that's gonna hurt! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. How about going back home to your kids and getting them their presents? They, they're, they're really depressed right now. <laughs> Christmas is about sledding, not spending time with your family. Boggy is not a very good parental model. Anyhow, Foggy's over here now, which he has turned this area into a sledding race. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. Well race, you numbutt! <laughs> Sorry, my butt's not numb. You're too big for my sled. I can only race someone smaller. He's real fat. I mean, he is a polar bear, though, so... Who am I to judge? <laughs> oh, also, there's an entire area I haven't explored yet. <laughs> I thought the snowman was the last area. No, it's not. It's a walrus. Yikes! A nasty, fierce bear! I mean, I don't blame him for running away. Ooh, it's safe for Waza to come out now. I mean, he is a walrus, and polar bears do eat walruses, so I don't blame him for that. <laughs> he's made of he's made of blubber, so it bounces us out. <laughs> I wonder if Boggy's. I wonder if he's had a run with Boggy, and Boggy would try to eat him or something, and that's why. Oh, hey, it's the end of the celebrities. <laughs> oh, I won. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't race it at all. <laughs> yeah, I did. Go up. I just realized my boggy voice is getting kind of similar to my banjo voice. I mean, they are both bears, so maybe that can work. Anyhow, I think at this point, we really need to uh, visit Mumbo. Mumbo's at the opposite end of the course. <laughs> and yeah, the Beak Bomber will only take you so far before it'll just be like, nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey Mumbo, what's up? Ooh. Your skull's cold. Turn off the AC in here, Mumbo. Oh hey, it's the Yellow Jinjo! I was wondering where you were. <laughs> So 
now we need 15 mumbo tokens. Oh hey, it's a mini walrus. Banjo gone all fat, got big teeth. Purr, purr. So now we turn to a walrus. The walrus is not as good as the crocodile. He's basically the same as the crocodile, but um, he can't attack. But he can enter the icy waters without taking damage. Alright, sweet. So once you destroy the evil snowmen, they do not respawn until you either die or leave the level. I believe these are the last notes we have left to get. Wow, we got all the notes pretty fast on that level. Nice! You found all 100 notes on this world! Well done! Thanks, Bottles. I, I always appreciate people appreciating me for my hard work. It was so hard collecting all 100 notes on this level that I've played like five times before. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Yeah, we're, apparently the walrus is smaller than Banjo, which I disagree with that. Great! Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go! So you literally just use the control stick to move the sled, which is nice. Also, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure Boggy has rubber band AI, which is why he's catching up to me. Also, I recommend jumping up the slopes. Makes it go a lot faster. And don't miss the slaloms. And Boggy likes to try to push you out of the way. Which is not very nice. Someone's having a good time, and it's Boggy. I'm also having a good time. This is fun. They could have easily messed up the controls by making you have to like hold A or power slide or stuff. Nope, they made it real simple. You literally just move the control stick. No acceleration at all. You literally just move and you go. It's not realistic, but it's fun. And that's what a game's supposed to be. Alright, and now we just jump up this last one. Bada bing bada boom. Bye, Bobby. Too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Well, if Mario Kart taught us anything, it's the heavier you are, the higher your top speed is. Anyhow, thanks, Boggy. I'll take that, Jiggy. Goy, goy, goy. Wow, another walrus! Take this! But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. That's rude. I mean, thanks for the jiggy, man. I appreciate it. And he does seem excited to see me, which is nice. But wow, you are mean. Don't judge people based just on their appearance. Welcome to Waza's Cave. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around Waza's cave. I wonder if this guy knows the walrus from Diddy Palmer Racing. Orange Chinjo's up there. We can't reach him though. That's nice. Anyhow, ooh, there's an icy pool back here and a secret tunnel. I wonder where it could lead. Any guesses? If you guessed it leads to the second hollow honeycomb piece on the level, you guessed right! And your prize is satisfaction of being right. There's also an ice cube back here. Let's ouch! Not do that. Uh -huh. Be careful, because the walrus can't attack, you do not want him to kill you. I mean, that's a generally good strategy of life. Don't let people kill you. I don't know how Great Kruko made such, like, inherently catchy themes, but man, he did an A-plus job in this game. Well done, Grant Kruko. Boy, 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 I think that's... <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying guay, guay, guay. Those are the birds from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Another mumbo token? I also think I missed one in Bubble Gloop Swamp. I looked it up later and it's like, there's one behind the entrance to Mumbo's Skull. And I'm like, ooh. 
I do not check that. I'm gonna miss Mumbo Tokens occasionally. But if you're following all at home, well, go back to Mumbo Goo Swamp! <laughs> I missed a uh, Mumbo Token behind Mumbo's skull, and so did you. Anyhow, that's all for the Walrus. We literally, he literally has no other purpose. Change me back, Mumbo. Thank you. Alright. We should use the waiting standards to get out of here. Because our health is a little bit low. Wow. That lasted a long time, didn't it? Hey, are, there, are there any of those um, beehives up on this level? Because I sure could use one. Alright, let's head back to Waza's cave, because now that he's in his cave, we can enter just as Banjo Kazooie and reach that orange Jinko. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Guess who? Take that noisy orange fin with you and leave poor Waza alone. I don't want to kill you, man. I just want to be friends. How's your day going, man? You've been reading your Bible every day? That's good. <laughs> Does you a lot of good. Anyhow. Another thing that you'll notice is, if you're playing this for the first time and you get up to this cave, there's going to be an ice wall right there, but on my screen, it's been broken. And there's a little cave in here. If you enter from here. You get the uh, epic fanfare, and the, but there's nothing inside. It's because I've already picked up whatever's inside. But on your screen, if you're playing the first time, you'll be able to see an ice key in there. One of the most infamous objects in the game, and I will have to go more into detail on that in a bonus episode. I'm not sure if I'll be able to reset my game to the point where I can collect them again. But I'll do my best. But I do not want to erase the <laughs> soon-to-be three 100% folders in my game. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, actually... Alright, let's go back to Boggy. Boggy, I froze my butt off. Can I erase you? Hey, buddy! Fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or B to check it out. I'll try. Okay, but wait, I don't get a sled! I have to run? Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Run through the Red Slalom Gates to try and beat me to the end. Let's do it! Three, two, one, go! How is this fair? He gets the- what the heck? He's an I got a rocket powered sled. You have to run on foot. Faster, you're not trying back there. I'm running as fast as I can. <laughs> this is too easy. I'm giving up. Cool, give me my prize. No, he gave up. He forfeited, so I win. Give me my prize, Boggy. Come on, buddy. Try again. Press A to race or B to back out. We literally cannot beat him right now. This is one of this is literally the only world you have to come back to if you want to 100% it. Because as you saw, those sneakers there were transparent. Once we go and get the sneakers on a future level, we can come back here and beat him. That's so not fair! He's like, oh, this is too easy. Yeah, because you literally stacked the race against me in your favor. <laughs> you have to run on foot and I get the rocket-powered sled. This seems fair. Why is this so easy? <laughs> it's like setting the AI in Smash Bros. to level 1. Wow! Thank you, brown bear! Where are your presents, kids? Cool! Another present! We need just one more! Everyone gets a present. Yippee! Now we've all got presents! Here's something for you! Thanks! I love it! I don't even care that it's not rap. And now it's really happy music. Yeah! Spread that Christmas cheer. Everyone's happy! Oh, it's so wonderful. We've got Boggy on the wall, and we've got his kids, Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy. 
and <laughs> and wow, and a picture of us. Kind of weird that we just met, and you <laughs> and you have a picture of us on your wall before we even met. That's weird. Whatever. Thanks for the jiggy, guys. All right, and that's all we can do for Free's Easy Peak, unfortunately. Yeah, we have to come back there for the last jiggy later. But before. We run off. <laughs> wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. And now, guess who's in the lobby? <laughs> Let's try climbing up the advent calendar. Oh boy, that's what I want in my advent calendar, an Ecom Bolcom token. And there's sneakers up here. All right, I want to see if I can do this. So this makes a flight pad appear in the other room. We've already destroyed the cobweb, so let's try running back there as fast as I can. I'm pretty sure you need the sneakers, but you never know. Nope, you need the sneakers. All right, well, we'll have to do that next time on RD Plays Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you tune in next time. We will be exploring more of Grunty's Lair and going to World 6. And boy, howdy, that's where the game starts getting difficult. So until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.